Welcome to the Master Your Roles podcast. This show will teach you, the entrepreneur, the time management skills you need to be joyful, productive, and fulfilled in all areas of life. Doesn't that sound good? I'm your host, Scott Snow. Today's episode is titled, Become an Expert in Your Field by Scrapbooking the News. Now, I've derived this system of collecting ideas because really, we're all in the idea business, aren't we? And what I use is a three ring binder. I usually, you know, a four inch one, one of the big ones. And I use plastic sheets. And I just clip up articles from the newspaper. Of course, I love the physical newspaper. I know I'm bad. As long as they have a physical paper, newspaper, I'm going to subscribe to it because I just like to have the feel. I like to spread it out and, you know, jot notes. I like to write down on the articles and uh, doing it online just it doesn't do it for me. So I can never get used to it. Of course, there'll be a day when I'll just have to. So I guess I'll do it then. So what I do is this is a system for me to collect inspiration, ideas related to my field and what I want to do. And it's just so important to be in that mode of gathering all that stuff that's important to you. You know, you do have to define some categories that are going to be on your radar. For example, for mine, for my personal productivity focus, these are some of the categories that I'm always on the alert for. Work-life balance, time management, burnout, corporate culture, creativity, inspirational stories and pictures, mixology. Trends. This could be unemployment or artificial intelligence. How robots are doing more and more. Uh, generational, millennials, traditional generation, the baby boomers. It could be retirement. It might be uh, a pipeline for possible clients. Leadership and CEOs. Wealth building and millionaires, billionaires stories. Life purpose and mission statement type of stories. I'm interested in philanthropy and galas where people do a lot of fancy fundraising. I'm interested in geniuses, biotech industry, and uh, the high tech industry as well. So I'm not assuming that you're gonna do what I'm doing and create this physical scrapbook of the news. But what I think you can take from this if you're not gonna do that is that you need some kind of system that collects the information that you need because you can't absorb all the information in the moment. That's why you have to have this kind of uh, collection and this sorting system. Let the ideas incubate for you. In whatever way inspires you the most to use that information in a way that'll help your business and help your clients. So I find that I really like the physical part because again, I like that sensory part and I really enjoy just taking out some of my binders and I have about a dozen of them. And now I'm in, I'm in a locked in procedure where it doesn't take me more than, uh, you know, five minutes to log today's articles that I clipped into uh, the next scrapbooking binder. So, and I just have them uh, right here. I look through it and I jot down some ideas. I have everything written here. It's very time efficient because I've already, I'm not writing out stuff. I'm just looking here and I'm getting the ideas. I'm all about using just your voice. That's why I love this podcast setup and the YouTube videos where you can just blab and talk for 20 minutes and get a ton of ideas out. So I'm doing less of the written blog stuff where you spend an hour and a half writing a 800 word blog post and nobody sees it and you don't really cover that much anyway and all of the time is spent typing and, and just creating your sentences. So this is, work, this is working a lot better for me. I like the momentum, I like to keep rolling. So my process is that I uh, read my newspapers in the morning with a coffee 
And usually I read the Boston Globe, Wall Street Journal, usually the New York Times, and sometimes either the USA Today or the Telegram and Gazette, which is a local paper in Worcester, Massachusetts. So I kind of uh, scan through papers. Certainly I don't read every word. And I'm, again, looking for those key categories that apply to me. And <clears throat> I love the process. It keeps me sharp. It keeps me in the zone where I say, here's my newspaper, and I got to make something of this. I got to collect a couple little things that are really going to work. So it, it gives you the, it works those muscles of positive expectation. Some of the things you'll need is, let me get this. Electric buzzer is very helpful to just have the newspaper and <laughs> of course it drives my wife and kids crazy. I have to shut the office door, but that you can go zip right through it. And also you need your binder and plastic sheets. That's probably the biggest, biggest expense, the plastic sheets, which is 20 bucks for a packet of 200. And <clears throat> the binders you can get, you know, at Salvation Army. Usually you get a lot there. So that's the process. And then once I cut out the article themselves, I'll uh, take some glue stick and just uh, glue the page, the article onto uh, eight and a half by 11 blank paper. Or if the article is too big, I don't waste time cutting and cutting and cutting so I can get it on an eight and a half by 11 page. I'll just fold up that big article and just have a chunk like this and just have that displayed in the plastic sheet. So I know that's a whole story there. If I wanna delve into that, then I can do that. A few episodes ago, I talked about the crazy article about the, in Canada, the bar in Canada that had a mummified human toe in uh, people's drinks. You could get a drink with a mummified human toe, it's black, in the bottom of your drink. So, you know, and why do I collect all, the, all these ideas? I'm not exactly sure for some of my ideas, ideas, you know, I, uh, but I have a belief that there's something there there's something interesting about it and I just need to keep it. <laughs> so it's important to do that. I think, well, what's the, what's the uh, downside? You know, you just have an article sitting in a plastic sheet that you don't use. I'd really love to index all these articles, you know, by category, like all the work-life balance articles, you know, uh, this article was in the New York Times and it's in book binder six on page 150. You know, I'd love to be able to have just a whole rundown. So then if I want to do an, a blog, blog or a podcast or a YouTube video on the burnout trend, then I'll just, I can just look those up. But Again, it's, it's taking too much time. I need staff. <laughs> I need more people. All these people that are bored, come on over and help me out. I'll put you right to work. You know, I do still use the laptop to read Harvard Business Review. I find that that's like the number one resource for me. Like that, all the articles, <clears throat> excuse me, are just right on exactly with what I need to learn. So that's kind of like my master's degree right now is just the Harvard Business Review articles. That I'll read on the on here because I have to. So let me just give you a quick example of this one here. I'll just say some of the articles that are here. <clears throat> Here's an article about the Boston Celtics coach, how he goes to visit uh, New England Patriots and the Boston Bruins to get ideas of how to run a team. Here's an article about burnout in the corporate culture. Here's an article by uh, a CEO of a biopharmaceutical company that's local. Maybe I'll want to work for one of them. Here's an article about Joe Biden talking about daycare. I like to have some parenting stuff in here and child development. I love articles about when they analyze how kids play and natural creativity and what they're learning from their play. Got some things about music. 
Here's an inspirational story about a 14 year old uh, music prodigy who has a, a, a very uh, special jumping rope that she uses and somehow that gives her uh, great inspiration to write her musical compositions. So you kind of get the idea, you know, might be articles on what celebrities think about leadership. I like stories about Gwyneth Paltrow and her business Gloop, no Goop. <laughs> Journal writing, creativity. Here's an article uh, from the Globe about how to pursue purpose over pleasure. That's right up my alley. Parenting, how to be present. A kid asking their dad if he achieved all his life goals when the, when the kid is, you know, a young adult and asking, you know, how did you score in the whole realm of things? That's important. So there's just endless things that can be helpful that I can refer to. And uh, it keeps me sharp. So in closing, I recommend you have some kind of a system for harnessing all these great ideas that apply to you. And also they might start to stretch you too. Like you say, hey, maybe this, whatever. What could how children play affect my business of personal productivity and time management? There's, there's gotta be a way, you know? So find your system, start scrapbooking your ideas, collect your ideas. If you want more information, please visit my website MasterYourRoles.com. We offer seminars and workshops and individual and group coaching on this system, Master Your Roles, where you identify all your roles that you play and then have a very creative approach to your whole life where you have all these moving parts to your life and you've identified the roles you should be playing now and also roles that you need to play in the future that you're setting yourself up for now to play later. So it's a very unique, innovative approach. And I welcome you to, to join our community and check out the podcast, check out the YouTube channel. Until next time, adios.